Washington, the Biden administration warned pharmacists Wednesday that they are at risk of violating federal civil rights laws if they deny filling prescriptions to medications that could be used for abortions. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office for Civil Rights issued the guidance to roughly 60 OOU as retail pharmacies after reports that patients were being denied abortion medication after it was prescribed or medication to treat certain ailments that could cause abortions. We This includes access to prescription medications for reproductive health and other types of care. The guidance comes roughly two weeks after a Supreme Court ruling overturned Roe v. Wade, a landmark 1973 ruling that had established a constitutional right to abortion. More, U.S. government tells hospitals they must provide abortions in cases of emergency, regardless of state law galvanizing moment. The fight for abortion rights goes local and state elections. The department also issued guidance to hospitals reminding them they have to provide stabilizing care to Craig. The office noted that discrimination against pregnant people on the basis of their pregnancy is considered sex discrimination and certain scenarios could violate federal civil rights laws. For example, a pharmacy cannot deny filling a prescription for mifepristone, which can help assist with the passing of a miscarriage to a person who is experiencing first trimester miscarriage. The office said there will be discrimination on the basis of sex. There have also been some cases of individuals who need medication for an ailment that are being denied because it could be used for abortions. It wouldn't be my choice for judge, Senate Democrats slam Biden's plan anti-abortion pick post Roe America, one state's fight over abortion access and where. The HHS Office of Civil Rights said that a pharmacy denying to fill a prescription for that medication could be discriminating on the basis of disability. Following the Supreme Court's ruling, President Joe Biden is facing increased pressure by abortion rights advocates to protect reproductive care services. Biden announced last Friday that he will protect access to medication and make legal representation available to women who choose to travel out of state for an abortion.